Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsham Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you important concepts which are which will be asked in examination in short questions. A number of terms are there in business economics in the topic cost and revenue analysis. So in this topic, so many concepts are there which are asked, which will be asked in examination for short questions. So I'm taking up all those short bits here in this video. So watch the video till the end. So before starting the explanation of these terms, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Now, the first term is fixed cost. The meaning of the term fixed cost. Fixed cost are those costs which remain fixed irrespective of the level of activity. Whatever be the level of production, the fixed cost will remain same. Whether we make 100 units or 1000 units, the fixed cost will not change. Irrespective of the level of output, the cost remains same. So if the time period under consideration is long enough to make the adjustment in the capacity of the firm, then the fixed cost may change. So fixed cost may change only in the long run when all adjustment can be able to be made for changing the production, for changing the capacity. So only during long period of time, the fixed cost may change. But during the short period of time, fixed cost cannot be changed. In the short run, in the short run, some costs are fixed and some costs are variable. For example, administration cost, rent of the building, depreciation. These are the examples of fixed cost, which will remain same. Now variable cost, opposite to fixed cost is variable cost. Variable cost is a cost that varies or changes according to output. More output is made, more variable cost. Less output is made, less variable cost. If no output is made, no variable cost at all. The variable cost per unit will remain same. In total, the total variable cost change proportionately with the output. With the output. Now, example of uh, this variable cost is raw material, direct labor incurred for production, production, are the variable cost. So two examples are given here. Raw material cost is a variable cost and labor incurred in producing the goods, direct labor. That is also an example of variable cost. Next comes marginal cost. Marginal cost is the additional cost incurred when one unit of output is increased. So when we increase the output by one unit, how much is the increase in total cost? that increase in total cost is called marginal cost. So in the short run, when we increase the output by one unit, the fixed cost will not change, only variable cost will change. So in other words, we can say variable cost is a marginal cost or marginal cost is nothing but variable cost because variable cost will change. When we increase the output by one unit, some change will be there in the total cost. That change is the variable cost. So it is a marginal cost. Fixed cost will not change. Average cost. Average cost is the cost incurred in making one unit of output. So average cost can be obtained by dividing the total cost divided by number of units produced. That is called average cost. Now margin of safety. This concept is very important frequently asked in examination. Margin of safety is the excess of actual sales over break-even sales. Over break-even sales. At break-even sales, no profit, no loss. Example, our break-even point of our business is 10 lakh. So at 10 lakh rupees of sales, our business break-even, no profit, no loss. But the actual sales are 15 lakh. So how much is the excess of sales over break-even sales? 5 lakh. That 5 lakh rupees sales is called margin of safety. So simply margin of safety is the difference between actual sales and break-even sales. Actual. The formula for margin of safety is actual sales minus break-even sales. Sometimes margin of safety can be expressed as a percentage. In that case, 
will divide margin of safety divided by sales into 100. You will get percentage of margin of safety. So margin of safety can also be expressed as a percentage. That's all. So completed margin of safety. Now I'm coming to the next concept called profit to volume ratio. Very important concept. So profit volume ratio express the relationship between the contribution and sales. Contribution is the excess of sales over a variable cost. I'll explain to you later. But right now remember contribution is the excess of sales over variable cost. So this PV ratio, profit volume ratio is the ratio of contribution to sales or contribution divided by sales. It is also called contribution ratio. Sometimes it is called PV ratio, sometimes it will be called as contribution ratio. It is denoted by PV ratio or CS ratio. The PV ratio can be calculated by the formula. Different formulas are there for PV ratio. Like PV ratio is equal to contribution by sales. Contribution by sales into 100. And one more formula in place of contribution I can write S minus V. Sales minus variable cost is nothing but contribution only. So contribution is S minus V by S. Or contribution can also be expressed as F plus P. Fixed cost plus profit divided by sales into 100. You apply any formula, you will get the same answer. You can call PV ratio as contribution by sales or S minus V by S or F plus P by S into 100. Or one more formula is there, change in profit by change in sales into 100. So these are the formulas for calculating profit volume ratio. The PV ratio is one of the most important ratio for studying the profitability. So normally, this PV ratio is applied to find out the profitability of a product. Uh, then on operations, comparison of PV ratio of different products can be made to find out which product is more profitable. Normally, one of the reasons for calculating PV ratio is, after calculating PV ratio, we compare the PV ratio of different products. Whichever product has a higher PV ratio, that product is more profitable. Higher the PV ratio, more is the profitability rate. Hence, it should be the goal of every concern to increase or improve the PV ratio. So ultimately, the management must strive. The management must try to increase or improve the PV ratio. And next concept is contribution. Contribution is the excess of sales over variable cost. So sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. In other words, it is excess of sales over variable cost. The formula for contribution sales minus variable cost S minus V. Or contribution can also be calculated per unit. If you want contribution per unit, selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So SP minus VC. Or one more formula is there. Contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit. F plus P. So any formula you apply, you will get the same answer. The contribution is available for meeting the fixed cost and the remaining amount will be profit. From contribution, if we deduct the fixed cost, then the remaining amount will be the profit. So we can say C is equal to F minus C minus F is equal to P. In a contribution minus fixed cost, you will get the profit. Higher the contribution, better is the profitability of the product. So more contribution, it is better, more profitable. Next term is angle of incidence. This is also more frequently asked in examination. Angle of incidence is defined as the angle formed at the point of intersection of sales line and total cost line in the BP. On a graph paper, if you draw the total sales line and total cost line, both the lines will intersect at each other at a point. The angle formed at the point of intersection of total sales and total cost, that angle formed is called angle of incidence. In other words, angle of incidence is the angle formed at the BP. When total sales and total cost line intersect, that intersection point will give you the BP. So in other words, the angle formed at the BP. What is BP? The intersection of total cost line and total sales line. And the total cost line intersect at each other. Higher the angle of incidence, higher is the profit rate of the business. So more angle of incidence, it denotes that there is more profitability. 
these are the points you have to write for angle of incidence next one is uh, break even chart this is the last concept in this video break even chart is the graphical presentation of marginal costing actually bp break even point can be calculated by using the formula or using a graph paper on a pictorial form also we can find out the bp so if bp is ascertained by drawing lines on a graph that is called break even chart finding out the break even point by draw by drawing a graph on the graph we draw two lines one total cost line and total sales line when both the lines are drawn on the graph paper you can find that both the lines are intersecting at a point so from the point of intersection if you draw perpendicular on x axis and perpendicular on y axis the perpendicular on x axis will give you break even point in units so when you draw perpendicular on y axis it will give you break even point in rupees the break even chart will give you the bp in units and also bp in rupees by drawing two lines that is total sales line and total uh, cost line and apart from that break even chart also indicates estimated profit or loss at various levels of output if the output is less or more at different levels of output how much would be the profit or loss that can also be ascertained by drawing a break even chart so break even chart is indicated on the chart as the point of intersection where the total cost line and total sales line will intersect that's all so this is the discussion on different terms which are used in cost and revenue analysis and these uh, i mean terms will be asked in short questions so this is the end of this video inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video